Hello and welcome to the second Bellevue video. I'm Jeff Wondry and I'll be answering some common questions about the program's functionality and features. This video should be watched after the setup video. There's a link to that video in the description. This second video covers five topics. Orientation of the X, Y, and Z axis. Saving measurement data in PCAP or CSV file formats for later playback. Selecting individual data points and channels. Cropping return values. And understanding the data point colors. Let's get started. First, connect to the sensor. Velodyne's three-dimensional sensors output data in a spherical format, distance and two angle measurements. VeloView displays the information in six Cartesian formats of red X, yellow Y, and green Z. Choose the orientation that is appropriate for your application. The most common orientations have a green Z arrow pointing up. VeloView measurement data from the sensor can be saved in either PCAP or CSV file formats. PCAP is a capture packet file format where VeloView can save and playback measurement data. The steps to get this data are easy. To save the data as a PCAP file, select the record button from the menu bar. If needed, rename the file and save. Press the button again to stop the recording. A PCAP file can be replayed in VeloView by selecting the first icon in the menu bar or by selecting File, Open, Capture File. VeloView can only replay files in PCAP format. By selecting the spreadsheet icon, a running stream of data is available to see. The CSV files can be either distance values from the sensor or GPS positional coordinates. Remember, the sensor's output is in a spherical coordinate system. In this spreadsheet, the values in green are the sensor's output. Blue values are from an optional GPS input. Cartesian coordinates are the first three columns. The enlarged font in the middle represents the 16 vertical LiDAR channels at 122.2 degrees horizontal rotation. The intensity column will be discussed later in the video. It is possible to select points and laser channels for further analysis. To select points, select the icon and select the appropriate points. Be careful. While you are selecting points in two dimensions, VeloView is selecting points in three dimensions. Individual laser channels can be shown on VeloView by selecting Tools, Laser Selection. A window is displayed and individual channels can be selected. Here we see the results of one channel being selected. VeloView has a cropping function if viewing a particular field of view is important. Select the crop icon, check the enable cropping button, select the boundaries to be cropped. The cropped values can be inverted by selecting crop inside. VeloView is a measurement data viewer, but the viewer can also be used to display other information like laser return intensity, also known as calibrated reflectivity. Reflected beam intensity is described in numeric terms. Zero is a black, matte, diffuse, reflected object. 100 is a white, matte, diffuse, reflected object. The values above 100 are retroreflected objects. An object's reflectivity value would change as the laser's incident angle changes. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please contact any Velodyne team member in Asia, Europe, and North America. Their contact information can be found at velodynelidar.com or email at lidar at velodyne.com. Thanks for watching.